Okay, so uh, let's continue our discussion of average atomic mass um, with uh, this next um, problem where instead of looking for the actual average atomic mass, we're looking for one of the isotopes, the mass of one of the isotopes. So we're going to have to use that algebraic equation to manipulate, okay? Um, so it says copper has two naturally occurring isotopes. Uh, copper 63 has a mass of 62.939 AMU and a relative abundance of 69.17%. The atomic weight of copper, or use the atomic weight of copper to determine the mass of the other copper isotope. So in order to do this problem, you have to have a periodic table unless you've memorized the atomic weight of copper, okay? So the atomic weight of copper is 63.55 AMU. Okay. Notice also it didn't give us the abundance of isotope 2. Okay. Um, what are we really looking for? We're looking for the mass of isotope 2. And we couldn't find that if we didn't know the abundance. So how do we do that first? So we're going to have to look at the abundance of the other one because it says there's only two naturally occurring, right? So that means this one plus this one have to be equal to 100%, right? Yes, exactly. So we take 100 and we subtract that, or we subtract that other isotope, 69.17. So 100% minus 69.17% and we get 30.03 or 83 sorry percent okay is everybody okay with how to get that now if you recall so this is what we're looking for okay so if you recall the formula for average atomic uh, weight Okay, so make sure you're able to remember that for these problems. Okay, if you can't, if you don't do that, you won't be able to do it. Okay. Um, at this point in time, we could go ahead and rearrange it all just to solve for the mass of the second isotope, but oftentimes, I, I have recorded videos of those already. Um, let's do one where we just plug it in and then just move everything around, algebraic. Okay. So, Notice here it says the abundance of isotope one, but this says the ratio of isotope one. So in order to get the ratio from the abundance, we have to divide by 100%, okay? Canceling out our percentages, and we get 0 0.6917. Do the same thing for this one. 0 0.3083. Is everybody okay with what I've just done? Okay, the atomic weight of copper, that's the atomic weight there, okay? So now I'm just going to put everything into the formula, okay? Any questions so far, I guess I should say? Okay. Now I'm going to again use my units to remind me that in the end, right, this mass is going to be an AMU. Okay, that's a mass here. Ratio of isotope 1, 0 0.6917 times the mass, 62.939 AM plus uh, the other ratio, 0 0.3083 times, we don't know, mass of isotope Okay, and that's what we're looking for. So, again, like I said, what, what I'm going to do for you guys today is just show how I would think about it if I were trying to figure this out, okay? So the first thing I would do is multiply these two things together, okay? So I got 0 0.6917 times 62.939. Okay, and I get 43.53 something, okay? Um, with that, right, that 
this is added to this other. This is like A plus B, right? So I can subtract this from this if we remember our algebraic uh, rules, right? So what I'm going to do is take that 4353. And subtract it from 63.55. So when I do that, I get 20.02 AMU, approximately. Okay. And then I still have this equal to 0 0.3083 times mass of isotope 2. Okay? But at this point, I could just be like, I don't need these parentheses anymore. Okay? So this times this, well, if I want to get rid of this, uh, I'm going to divide both sides by, right? So now I'm going to just say 0 0.3083. And then, of course, if I do the same here, that just gets rid of it. So that's going to give me, this number is going to be the mass of isotope 2. Is everybody okay with what I'm saying? So the mass of isotope 2 is going to be 20.015 20, 20 whatever divided by 0 0.3083. And hopefully I get the same number as you guys, 64.015. 9.2 AMU. Okay, so why did I only take it to 4? Because of significant digits, okay? So that's the mass of the other isotope. Any questions on how we do that? Speak now. Yes, ma'am. Well, remember, I gave you the periodic table. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's on the periodic table. Yeah, so always go back to the periodic table uh, and look for that atomic weight, okay? Sometimes the problem is asking, what is the average atomic weight? And you just can look at the periodic table and be like, okay, I know I need to show my work, but I know what the answer I need to get to is, okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's because uh, I carried all my digits through and uh, you uh, cut off at every single. Okay? I would give you credit. It's the same answer. 